know about you guys, but this whole corona thing has really put a damper in any potential travel plans I may have had this year. I figured I'd take a trip down memory lane and maybe create something that I've had in my past travels. Today, I really want to go to Amsterdam for some delicious, delicious waffles. These are not just any kind of waffles. These are the Liege waffles. Those big, crusty, soft, chewy motorcycles. Belgian style waffles that are just crunchy and beautiful and all over Europe. And when you see them, they're usually covered in junk well, good junk, but just stuff. Ice cream, chocolate, candies, whatever. They're amazing. And what's fun about them is they are made with these little hard sugar pearls. See? That can kind of withstand the heat of the iron and they stay kind of solid, but soft and crunchy and caramelized. Well, these are also quite special because they are not made with a typical waffle batter. We're going to be making a dough, which is so exciting, which is dough exciting. Grab your little wooden shoes and we're going to take a trip to the land of tulips and windmills and waffles. So we're going to start the dough. Into my little measuring cup here, I have some lukewarm milk. Just to get a temperature with this, you want it to be between about 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit because we don't want our yeast to die. If it's too hot, you'll kill the yeast. If it's too cold, it won't bloom. Into my warm milk, I have some just white sugar and some dry active yeast. We're gonna let this sit for maybe 10 minutes or so. We just wanna make sure that our yeast is alive. It should start to foam and bubble and smell really delicious like bread. It's been a few minutes and our yeast is foamy and mm, it smells like baking bread. It's real good. So it's alive. To our yeast mixture, we want to put in some melted butter, some vanilla extract. I use this paste and it is so good because you get the actual seeds in there too. Highly recommend. Some egg. I'll have more exact measurements listed below in the description. I'm gonna mix this all up. Now we have a little bit of a larger bowl. I have some flour, a pinch of salt, and I put in a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm just going to whisk that together to pour our wet. And we're gonna bring this together until a nice soft dough appears. Mm, it smells so good. That yeast makes everything better. I'm going to switch to a spatula. Get the sides and the bottom, make sure all that flour is incorporated. Now I am going to want this to rise. I'm gonna put this into my oven with the light on, no heat, do not turn the oven on. Cover it and let it sit for about a half an hour until it has grown. Or just put it into a warm spot in your kitchen. And she is done. The last step in this process of the waffles Mm. is some of that pearl sugar. Just incorporate that into the dough. And we are ready. Grab the waffle iron and I'm going to just preheat this to like a medium high-ish. We are preheated. Also read the instructions for your waffle maker. They're all different, but this one is a nice little Belgian waffle maker. It's got a couple of wells. That deep Belgian style waffle is what we're looking for. Of course, brush that butter. 
You can spray it too, you know, if you wanna be maybe a little healthier, but like butter is better. I'm gonna put like just between like a golf ball and a baseball size into your waffle iron. And close it up. And mine gives specific instructions to cook for three to five minutes, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and watch it and kind of go by what it looks like. In a few minutes, just wanna check. Oh my God! A little longer. I think we're good. So I'm just gonna plop them out. Just be very careful. It's hot. Wow, oh, they are fluffy and crunchy. Cook up the rest of them. And here we have some great looking, delicious smelling Liege waffles. Closer look, I got eight waffles out of this batter. That's the stuff right there. It's still super hot, but like, can you see that string of sugar right there? Oh my God. And look, it's just doughy and beautiful and soft and you can see look at this sugar like that's all caramelized sugar i'm going in it's missing something got my wooden shoes now i'm ready to eat You can see how it's just kind of glistening. I could cry. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the middle of Dom Square with all the people and all of the little vendors and all the pigeons. It's, it's bringing me back. You can take a little trip through food. Really good. You should make these.